Which then brings us to the third piece. So now I got the data in the system, right? And now we're, we're talking a little bit more, not just those trends that I showed you to start out with, those compliance trends, but the idea that you need to continuously monitor your business, right? And, and this is where we start to talk about uh, that impact of helping you make decisions. So I'm gonna come over to a different screen back here in the live environment. And I'm actually gonna show you some analytics that we have. Uh, again, just sample analytics, hoping this will get your minds kind of, you know, uh, thinking about it. I'm sure there might, this might create questions as well. But what you're seeing here is actually a records dashboard. This dashboard is configurable. So an end user can actually take and manage their little, their little reports that they have on their dashboard. How nice would that be, right? The idea that you can take a dashboard, you can configure it, you can configure reports, and it shows you the most common maybe features or trends or things that you want to see. You'll see up top here, excuse me, on the dashboard, I have it, you can, you know, design different ranges. How often do you get requested for something that is, hey, can I see the last 30 days of these reports? Or can I see that last processing run we did for customer A? Or can I see everything that happened last Monday, right? Uh, all that can be uh, set up and, and uh, you can use that as a filter, right, within the system as we go through it. Right here I have it set for 60 days, again, a demo environment, so I'll use a little bit longer of a string for you guys to see it. So this is just an example. On the left side, you're going to see some different filters. Maybe I want to see all the things that have failed, right? I just want to see the items that have failed. Show me those items. Maybe show me those items by different locations or whatever that might be. As we talked about earlier, you may even drill down into specific forms, right, as you go through this. But you'll see the different filters on your left side of your screen. Um, one of the nice ones that I like to, to show here is if I come, bring up the record summary report, right? The idea here, this should hopefully feel familiar to you, right? These are all the records coming into the system. You'll see the records down here below that I can drill directly into. I can see the status of those. I can filter off the status of those. I can realign those statuses, right? Just show me the passes. Just show me the fails. Maybe I want to see just a specific user who's doing it. But the idea that you can constantly filter this information, you can also export it out. I'm sure many of you on the phone are asked all the time, hey, can you send me over a report for blah, 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 right? For the last 30 days of this processing, for the last 30 days of this item, whatever it might be. All of that's capable in here. But as we start to drill down and see a couple other, and these are some of our standard reports in the system, you obviously can configure reports on your own. But these are a couple of fun ones that we have built in here, just standard. Um, one of the items that you'll see here, and this is common we hear a lot about, is as you're going through these processes, you're looking to have some kind of mathematical formula calculated to it, right? So I'm going to look at my breast meat uh, fat percentage in this example, and you'll see here, again, just from a simple form, this was a sample form where it was it, data was entered in, you'll see counts, you'll see the system start to do averages and medians and standard deviations and minimums and maximums. A very good way for you to start to see those items uh, that maybe you should uh, start to pay attention to, right, or show some extra attention to. This is an example of processing. I'm sure many of you have a receiving program in place today. Okay, at that receiving place, I do a certain set of samples. Here are the samples that I've captured and the averages and the medians of those samples for the head circumference, for example. In this case, I'm looking at an artichoke. Or maybe the net weights, right? What are the net weights that are coming across here? Let me see the average of those net weights. All important information, I'm assuming, they can help drive uh, the business, right? But where we take it one step further is combining all that together. Uh, so if I'm going to show you something here, we call this ops monitoring. Uh, and I'm going to take out the artichoke so I have all my data in here. You'll see my filter carried over. This is, uh, we call it ops monitoring. Uh, many of you will see this as uh, both ops monitoring and statistical process control, right? X bar, X bar S charts. These charts are actually refreshed, right? And they can be refreshed up to every minute of time. Uh, as I mentioned, some of our customers are using these charts to monitor different processes on a big screen in their facility, or in their break room, or whatever that might be. I think this one's fun here to show you an example, because this is very common. I get a lot of head nods when, people, when we talk to a lot of people. Many of you do calibration checks, I'm assuming, or you're at least familiar in the industry of doing calibration checks. Well, what you'll see here is uh, this is a thermometer calibration, right? And I'm going to pull back to this example all the way back to the beginning here in a moment. But 
the idea that you have boiling point calibration. If I have any failures that have happened, what are the different calibration methods that I'm using, right? So I'm using boiling point and ice point. What's the breakdown of those? From an ice point standpoint, what are, you know, what are my passes? What are my fails? How many am I doing? And, and this doesn't have to be smushed together either, right? You can easily expand these out to start to see the detail. You can drill down into the actual records as you go through it. Um, but a nice way that we've seen people not only start to capture those really critical, you know, quality attributes as you go through it, but also then that ability to start to capture and trend uh, any of those other areas. So you'll see an example here where I'm doing X bar and, and R bar charts on deposits, right, and topping deposits, weight control. But at the same time, I'm marrying that together into my dashboard with metal detector checks. I got to make sure those metal detector checks are happening. So this is where a system can, our system can really start to aggregate this all together in a nice, neat little package and, uh, and start to give you those tools, that data, right, that data that you crave, that you strive for, and we can start to expose it out to your end users. And this can be available, you know, again, anytime, real time. You can see that the screens will refresh depending on the time that you want them to refresh if you're using, like I said, uh, you know, monitors and so forth throughout the, the facility. Safety chain, reduce risks, control costs, ensure compliance.